Hey guys, uh, I'm Forrester here, and uh, just going to show you GIMP today. Uh, I'll be showing you how to add an alpha channel and uh, opening new layers. Uh, it's got a couple friends who want to, you know, use GIMP for a couple things, and you know, everyone always asks me how to use it. So I thought I'd make a video so they could get a little bit of a reference. I might make some more. But uh, yeah, here we go. So when you erase a image, especially when you, well, if you start on a JPG, a JPEG, uh, you'll get these like white lines, and uh, you know, which is fine if you're just drawing on something. But you you want to take that image and you know put it on something, then you would go over and to your layers tab, and right click on the layer you want to add the alpha channel to scroll down click alpha channel and basically what this does is when you erase you can get uh, you know you get a bit of uh, these little freaking I don't even know what they're called uh, checker marks and um, basically what that does is so that, like that's an absence of layer so if I was to put something behind it you know then it it wouldn't show up and um, so I'll show you that right now uh, if you go to open as layers uh, and you open PNG now the nice thing about a PNG is this is why I save all my files to is because there people will you know tell you other they're the exact same file you know like uh, quality they, they, there's no difference between the two the only difference is uh, JPEG will save all this stuff as white, and PNG will save all this stuff as invisibility, you know, clear clear marks. So, I always save as a PNG. It's also the compression ratio of the image is smaller, so you could save a whole bunch more for the size of a JPEG, you know, five, five of these for one JPEG or something like that. So, it's like, I, I don't know the exact amount, but... So go to your magic selection, and as I said, it's a PNG, so I don't have to add an alpha channel. Um, go to that, go to eraser, and your magic tool will basically select, you know, the threshold. It looks for borders, and you can use that so you won't affect the quality of your image by, you know, erasing the lines. And fortunately, this one was, you know, all white. This one is a picture I took, so some of the white, and you'll notice, if I get it, um, sorry, go to the layer. You'll notice it it kind of gets some of the other colors and things like that. Uh, I, I took this as a picture and then you know ended up like drawing coloring the rest on GIMP. But uh, for images you scan in, you get you know really good things like that. So I don't want that line anymore. Go to Shift Control A. Uh, anytime you make a mistake, say you did want that line, just go to uh, Control Z and uh, that'll you know undo um, so basically now I want to add or sorry now I want to move that over here and basically the point of clearing all that stuff is now that it, it's invisible when I put it behind something you know it basically doesn't get rid of the layer and it has its own little like ba bam so yeah, uh, I love GIMP. There's a lot of things you can do with it. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. Uh, better than Photoshop. There's a bunch of cool texts and stuff. You know, like tons of stuff. Cool. And uh, scroll down the wheel. You can kind of like go through them. You know, which is really good for games because text is a big thing. It's got, um, you know, you got your clone tool, so you can take something you like and, you know, move it somewhere, put your face everywhere, and kind of like draw if you want. Really neat. And you got uh, you know your ink tools all, all, all the same bases you find in Photoshop it's just way better you know and a bunch of things you can do so I hope you guys enjoyed my tutorial and uh, 
hope that it helped and hope that it helps some of my friends and uh, yeah have a good one